Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to review a Korean romantic TV series, Orange Marmalade. Orange Marmalade begins with a young vampire named Beit Mari, experiencing a dramatic nightmare about being treated differently because of her vampire nature. Despite vampires and humans coexisting for centuries, prejudice against vampires remains prevalent. Mari's dream reflects her past as a child who faced bullying due to her identity. In the present, Mari is on a train where she screams in her sleep, waking up and startling the other passengers. Among them is Jung Jaemin, who recognizes her from the school. A disturbing incident unfolds as a creepy man touches a fellow passenger inappropriately. When Mari screams, the man panics and drops a box filled with blood, which splatters everywhere, including on Mari's face. The sight of the blood and the revelation that the man is a vampire causes chaos. As the train stops, the man flees, leaving Murray to deal with the mess and the blood on the face. Jamin, trying to help Murray, gets caught in the chaos and finds him so worried about her. Murray, embarrassed by the situation, struggling with her empire, vampire instincts, flees to the school where she is introduced as a new student in Jamin's class. The instant incident on the train has gone viral and students are buzzing about it, debating whether vampires and humans should live together or not. Their teacher, Yoon Jae, provides a history lesson about the peace treaty made 300 years ago between the vampires and the humans, which was meant to ensure harmony. Despite this, many students are still fearful and view vampires as monsters. Jamin, who has a personal aversion to vampires due to his past, is skeptical of the peace treaty. During the lunch, Mari tries to prove she is not a vampire by eating garlic, which makes her sick. At home, Mari's father, Sunan, is shown preparing a drink from the animal blood as vampires can no longer consume human blood. On another train ride, Mari falls asleep and accidentally licks Jamin's neck, which is sitting next to her. Embarrassed, she drops her music book and runs away. Jamin, showing kindness, picks up the books and later tries to play music from it on his guitar. Mari is mortified by the incident and recalls the awkward moment. Jamin mentions the train incident to his mother, Mina, who is also Mari's teacher. Mina and Junji discuss Jamin's behavior and his feelings about vampires. Jamin's discontent is partly due to his stepfather, Junji, being a vampire. Mari and Jamin have a strange start, but Jamin eventually proposes forming a bond with her. Mari declines, and Junji encourages the bad idea to foster a positive environment. However, another student, Ira, locks Mari's locker, which contains an animal blood drink, causing her to become weak. Ira spreads rumor about Mari portraying her as a bully, but Jamin and his friend Sh Shai stood up for Mari, defending her from Ira's accusations. Jamin reveals to Shai that he does not like vampires due to the family issues and Shai warns Mari about Jamin's aversion. One evening, Jamin helps Mari find her missing young brother, Joseph, who is attracted to Jamin's blood. Mari intervenes and saves the situation. The next day, Yunji discloses to Mari that he is also a vampire, which comforts her as she feels less isolated. Jamin and Mari begin to bond and Mari thanks Jamin for his help. They started hanging out and eventually form a pair called Orange Marmalade with Shai. Their relationship deepens and they confess their feelings for each other becoming a couple. In the following scenes, vampires use a special shot to protect themselves from sunlight. Yunji and Mina discuss Shai, troubled past, revealing that he once attacked someone as a child which could have exposed the vampire society. Shai becomes enraged when he learns Yunji has kept this a secret. Jamin discovers Shai's vampire identity and confronts him, leading to a confrontation. The situation worsens as rumors spread about Mari being a vampire, causing her family to go into hiding. Jamin is eventually informed of Mari's identity and is initially shocked, but still cares for her. Mari is imprisoned by the vampire control system for experiments. After her release, she tries to fit in with the humans openly. Jamin, although unable to remember her previous encounters due to an accident, supports Mari against the prejudice. Jamin defends Mari when others plans to prank her, and his actions help change the perceptions about the vampires.
Mari and Jamin grow closer despite the challenges. Shai suggests skipping the school, leading her to a bonding day with Ira, who starts to see the buyers in a different light. As Mari contemplates transferring the schools due to Jamin's request for space, Jamin, guided by Shai, convinces her to stay. The weekend sigh and cheer their past experiences, but drama ensues when students discover Shai's vampire secret. The school community reacts with fear and mistrust, but Jamin and Mari work to show that vampires and humans can coexist peacefully. They perform in their band, showcasing harmony between the two groups. Shy parents are reinstated by the VCS vampire control system, and the characters find a sense of normalcy. In summary, Orange Marmalade illustrates the struggle for acceptance and love in a world divided by fear and prejudice, ultimately demonstrating that understanding and cooperation can bridge divides between the different communities. Thank you for tuning in.